Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about some more stuff about the array. Now, for example, I'm going here and I'm making another variable. I'm making here the digits or C O U N count. Okay. Now here, first of all, I'm making this and I'm writing I N T. And um, again, there was a way we've chosen. We've chosen the way we was writing it like that. But there is one more way. Instead of this way, we can go down and we can write count like that. And I'm writing here the index first because, you know, here we was calling them through the index. The index starts from the zero. So here we're mentioning the index zero and equals to and I'm writing here some data like seven. OK, now count again and index one. Just another method I'm telling here. Here I'm writing nine and count again and here two and I'm writing here a t two okay count again in here three and equal two and I'm writing 78 just to show you the example so this is the way we can do that too okay this is just to make sure that we're uh, going with the right way but I'm not putting anything here. We're putting everything outside. Anyway, here I'm writing fmt.println and here I'm writing count and saving it. Now, I'm, I just need to go here and check the result and the results are officially 7, 9, 82, 78 and 0. Why 0? Because we have written 5 here. Okay, that's cool. There is one more way. For example, you do not know the size of the raw, um, the array while we're writing. So we can use an operator instead of this one. If I delete that, I can put point, point and point. Three times period actually makes a raw competent saving. And I'm going here and testing this up out of bond. Oh. Actually, you know, here we're using the 0, 1, 2, 3, B. so we are actually using the numbers. So we have to know the digit, but here we are not using the index, we can use this. And I'm going there and testing this up again. So now you can see that we've got the right result, 4839. Okay, we, I think, didn't even use that digit. So let me, yeah, we just used it for plus. So for adding some value, I'm writing the FMT dot or the digit should be right after the numbers. So print LN and here digits. Awesome. Save it. Now going here and testing this up again. And we've got it. You know, 4839, which was the digit one. Digits one. Okay. But you can see that we didn't mention the raw length. But here. We need to mention that. So I'm mentioning it here. Here. We can get the length of the raw too. We didn't mention it here. We just got it by three periods. So by using these three periods, the compiler automatically guessed what is the length. So absolutely when we're we are compiling it here in the terminal. So that means we have the the array done making of the array done so it is four now how we can check the array sizes print ln first i need to write len and here inside that i need to write the c o q sorry it should be inside q u o t s and saving it now going there again and testing this up so here you can see that the five okay one two three four and number fifth is five one two three four number fifth is five that means the code's length is five in here i'm making another fmt dot print ln and here i'm calling the numbers now the the numbers are not the strings but oh sorry i need to check the len len and here cutting the numbers and pasting them in oh saving it now going here and testing this up now five and the four because one two three four now, what would be the result if we try the same trick with the print ln, len, with the one we didn't even mention the size, digits, saving it and going here and testing this up. You can see that again, four, because one, two, three, four. And these ones, which are actually, we just updated, we just added like the updating one. You know, in this way, we even can update the data. I'm going to tell you that too. I'm going here and checking the print ln 
l e n and here count saving it and going here and testing this up again and we've got it the four four five because oh why this is five digits uh wait a minute 20 and the five this oh okay okay actually we've added one two three four four elements starting from zero so index is three but the elements are four but here we ask it to be five so still the one value is zero so if we make it 10 absolutely we're gonna have the 10 instead of 5 so it is fine by now you can see that it's 10 by now okay that's awesome now a few more things we need to talk about we need to go right after the 20 value you know this is a 20 value which comes from this 30th value I'm I'm writing here a count and uh, count and I'm writing um, count 2 the count 2 is 20 uh, is 82 by now and I'm updating the value of it I'm writing here uh, 69 and I'm printing it again fmt dot print and I'm just showing you that we even can update it later too and saving it now here I'm testing this up now you can see that previously it is 82 but then when we called it again it is 69 even if we call the whole raw the whole array count and save it and now i'm going here and yeah 7 9 82 87 7 9 69 78 and the other numbers are because we just mentioned it the 10 here so now it's it is consist of 10 elements one more interesting thing when it comes to the arrays if i just oh sorry if i just go here and i make it because i've only added four values i'm writing four here and uh, i'm making another raw here var and it is a making count one okay and uh, now going with that int now I can choose any way and I'm going with this one and here I'm writing four nine eight seven okay that's awesome this is all we need to do oh I did some mistake okay I need to add this thing and all good okay anyway we didn't use that so there it is having the problem but I'm going down right here after everything here I'm writing fmt dot print ln and here we are calling digits equals to count saving it what is the meaning of that count one actually saving now what is the meaning of that we are comparing two arrays I'm going here and I'm testing this up and we we've got false why we've got false because if we go look the digits and the count one the digits are four eight three nine the count one is four nine eight seven okay so absolutely the values are not comparative to each other so it is false but if I just go here and I write fmt dot print ln again here if I write numbers equals to count one saving it going there back the count one and numbers okay I'm going here and testing this up again the true because uh if i go here looking the number is 4987 and the count one is 4987 so it they are true in uh, the other hand if i try to just compare the count and count one absolutely they're different in values so just showing you that i'm gonna have false but i'm just showing you that how it works because of the different ways we design the raws still we can compare them count count one saving and i'm going here and testing this up okay you can see that the false so anyway in the next video we're gonna talk about the multi-dimensional arrays so till then stay tuned and goodbye